KNX Basic Training Exercises and Worksheets 5. Welcome to part number 5 of our KNX Basic Course Practice. This worksheet is mainly split into a mandatory part dealing with all about interconnection of KNX lines, that is, line couplers, their parameters, filler tables, and configuration of line crossing functions, and an optional part which ranges already in the advanced course level. This optional part deals with scene control and simple logical functions. Worksheet 5, part 1, line crossing central functions. Let's assume we have more than one line in our project and that we operate a push button on the main line. This central push button has two functions. Main function, rocker left, Complete lighting off all shutters up. For super pros only, secondary function, rocker right equals scene, enter the house. That means lighting to various values and all the shutters move into a specific position, height and louver position, teachable. Logical LED status display for complete lighting. If you want to repeat the theory, you might have a look again at these videos. See links in the video explanation text. The mainline module. For our task, we have a so-called mainline module, a box containing a line coupler, a choke and a single rocker push button. The given scheme is only an example based on the assumption that someone has used line 1.1 so far. If you are using a different line, make sure to adopt the given figures. On the picture, you can see the main line in the project. Integrate the main line module into your project. Connect the main line module with the Gamma Training Kit at one of the three KNX sockets below the switchboard on the left side. Address it. Continue to use your addressing scheme from the previous tasks. Do not be confused by these presentations if you see other individual addresses. So continue with 10.x.y. Inserting the line coupler. Insert a coupler with the current application 000131 into your project in the distribution board. Make sure that the individual address is really on the line. That means it ends with only one zero, like 10.9.0. Leave all parameter settings unchanged. In the basic setting, they work excellently. Changes should only be made if there are special requirements. Worksheet 5-1, central off, lines up. The push button of this module should perform the main function, complete lighting of all shutters up, with its left button. This push button is to be installed in the staircase. Follow the workflow as you have learned it. 1. Look up the new device in the catalog and insert it into your project. Make sure the push button has a main line address, like 10.0.1. 2. Do the parameters next. 3. Then create the new group address and link it to all required objects. 4. Download and test all affected devices. Topology view with mainline module. Make sure the line coupler is in the right place, 10.x.0, and the push button is located on the mainline 10.0. Please integrate also all other required system devices on this occasion, like jokes and power supply units. The best check of the correct position of the line coupler and push button in our project is to have a look at the filler table. Click with the right mouse button at the line coupler. Select Preview Filler Table, then you can see the group addresses in the Preview Filler Table. The filler table will show group addresses only if they have links to communication objects on either side of the line coupler. End of worksheet 5-1. Do you have any questions now? This first part of lesson 5 concludes the mandatory part 
of the KNX basic practical training. You have learned how to create, modify and save ETS projects. Select, insert and parameterize the KNX hardware. Define, create and link group addresses to establish the functions. Download and test the KNX devices using the diagnostic tools. Create line crossing functions, inventing line couplers. You may now proceed to the further tasks offered in Worksheets 4 and 5 Part 2. See you!